Hello and welcome to another Web Fundamentals video. I'm Caleb, I'm your host, and today we're going to be covering some HTML basics too within Code Academy. So if you're not ready, if you're not already um, at Code Academy, um, go on and head over there. We are going to continue where we left off last time, and um, previously we built our project. Um, let's see here, what are we on? Uh, oh, HTML2 the basics, duh just said that. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to learn how to create list. Awesome. So let's kind of get started. Also, quick note, if you're not already watching full screen, um, go ahead and watch full screen so you can see all this code, this lovely, lovely code that I'm about to type. So let's reset our code. So introduction. Let's continue learning more about HTML. You've already covered a lot. How to set up the head and body tags, how to create headings and paragraphs, and how to add images and links. In this course, we'll take it to the next level. A. Making ordered and unordered list. B. Changing the size, color, and type. And C. Changing the background color. And D. Aligning the text. So, the instructions on for this exercise. Let's get warmed up by adding a title in the head. Also, in the body, create a paragraph using the P tag. Anything you would like. So, let's go ahead and go over to the um, head. Create a new title tag and just say my site. And then once we're in the body tag, uh, let's go ahead and create a new paragraph tag and say something like my uh, paragraph. And I spelled paragraph wrong. All right, paragraph. Okay, good enough. So if we view our preview, we have my um, paragraph and. You can't see the name of the um, the title of the web page, but it's all right. Let's just save and uh, save the code and uh, see if we get the green light. So we get the good green check mark up here. So we're good. So start the next lesson. So indentation is your friend. Now is a good time to quickly mention indentation. That is, the amount of each line is spaced in from the margin. You'll notice that we place tags inside of other tags. We indent them more. This is or this really helps make your code more readable. Check out our indentation in the editor to the right. Try to follow this indentation style when you're writing HTML, so you don't get confused. So we, all we have to do the past is just go ahead and click save and submit. And I'm just going to quick note on that, indentation is really important because not only um, will you get confused if it's all in the same line, but um, if you indent, the lovely, lovely thing about indentation is that not only can you read your code a lot easier, if you were to publish this, or if you were to have someone else trying to help you with this, or help you on your coding, they can easily read it, like, oh, okay, this man has a heading one, he has an unordered list, and the first list item is raindrops and roses, and that would be, make it so much easier, life is so much easier once you use indentation, and it's just a... Um, a real good thing to pick up on a lot of programmers, professional programmers use it, um, website developers, they all do this indentation, so I'm just let that linger in the back of your mind and I'm going to quit rambling about it and we're going to continue learning about ordered list. So good, now let's learn how to make ordered list. An ordered list is simply a list that is numbered like the one below and if I just go ahead and reset our code, make sure I didn't type that. So, on line 8, we'll begin the order list with the opening OL. This specifies the ordered list. This is the ordered list tag, in other words. On lines 9 through 11, which are right here, uh, that's, oh, I just noticed that it doesn't highlight it no more. Huh, that's unfortunate. Hmm, oh well. Well, that's the unordered list tag, or the ordered list tag, and here are the list items. So um, we wrap an example surround each individual item with an li tag and L and closing li tag. Because each list item, the li tag stands for list items, is only on one line, we put an entire element on one line. On line 12, we finish the ordered list with a closing ordered list tag. And as you can see right here on line 12, we have a closing ordered list tag. So how cool is this? Now we can add ordered lists to our headings and paragraphs as things we can use in our HTML body. So if we go ahead and view a preview of what this really is, what I've been talking about, you can see we have an ordered list. First we have a heading of list of my favorite things. Now we have an ordered list of one, raindrops on roses, 
two whiskas on kittens, three Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So let's go back to our editor before we get too carried away. On line 13, create a new heading two size tag called list of things I find okay. So if I were to go ahead and copy this, and I'm just going to control C this, um, right here outside of our ordered list, uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make another space here, make an H2 tag. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste this in there, and I'm going to delete that. And that one. So if we go and view our preview, we should have another one underneath it. Indeed, we do. So let's go back. Starting on line 14, create an ordered list using the OL tag. So um, hit enter again and just go OL. Hit enter again. Now surround your list should have three items each wrapped by LI tags. Or I, I read that completely wrong. Your order list should now have three items each wrapped or an example surrounded by list tags. So create a new li tag and within this tag you put whatever you want to be on the um the ordered list. So um things I find okay. Um when you say something like cartoons, you know I find cartoons alright. Uh uh you can really say whatever you want here. I'm gonna say something like coffee. Um <laughs> uh, I guess uh Shoot, close? Uh, I really don't know what to put for these. But let's go ahead and view our preview once we have three things. Now you can see the list of things I find okay. One, cartoons. Two, coffee. Three, clothes. And as you can see, the order we put these in um, determines which one will be first, second, and third, and so forth. So we go ahead and save and submit the code. We'll get the green light to go on to the next lesson. So let's go ahead and go continue our course. One more ordered list. We really think that ordered lists are excellent. Who doesn't love a bit of order? So let's do a bit more practice. Instructions, give your file a title. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can say something like my awesome site, because we are just so creative, our creative minds. In the body, created a heading three tag called most annoying celebrities. Ooh, I like this one. Even though I could care less about celebrities, and I probably honestly don't even know three celebrity names. So let's go ahead and just paste this in here to our H3 tag. Making an order list with the OL tag on top of the three celebrities you find not to your taste. I know it's hard to just keep the list at three, but try. So create a new OL tag. Hit enter. Create a new list. And our first list item could be something like, um, who is a famous celebrity? Uh, you know, I'm just going to start naming random things that are in the room. So I'm going to say something like TV. Honestly, guys, it doesn't matter if you put something. Uh, it can be irrelevant to the sort of uh, celebra celebrities. It's just getting you to understand the basics and uh, creating your own ordered list. So uh, I'm going to say something else like backpack. And our third list item can be um, case because I have a pretty cool looking case <laughs> okay now under the list make it h2 heading top three things I can do for Mother's Day oh good so let's go ahead and click enter create a new heading to tag paste in the top three things I can do for Mother's Day once again make another or a new order list hit enter first list item we could say something like get some roses because, you know, all moms love roses. Um, we can have a little bit of love. Oh, wait. Make sure to put your list tag first. Then spell out love. Um, make a third list item. And you can say something like uh, candy. You know, moms love the candy. So we view our preview right quick. We have the most annoying celebrities and top three things I can do for Mother's Day. So, looks pretty good. Let's just go ahead and submit our code and see what we get. And we get the green light. That is freaking awesome. So let's move on to the next lesson. Unordered list. Hmm. Sounds very similar to ordered list. What could they be? We have learned how to make ordered lists. They are good if we want to number things. But what if we just want bullet points? What if we don't want an ordered list at all? We can use unordered lists. The best thing about unordered lists is that they work exactly the same way as ordered lists do. 
<laughs> Who would have thought? The only difference is that instead of using OL, we are using UL to define our unordered list tag. You know, you get it? UL, unordered, ordered list, OL, ordered list, O, uh, uh, get it, catch it, got it. Anyways, it was just some quick little tips to get them. But anyways, long story short, the instructions say to create a heading one tag. So let's go ahead and do that. And it wants us to say something like random thoughts or some random thoughts. So I'm going to copy that. Keep note that if you don't make these headings cr um, correctly what they want you to say, you will not be able to pass the exercise. So make sure to put the same headings as they want you to make. And create a paragraph. And it wants us to say anything, so we can just throw down some keys. There we go. And now create an unordered list with four random things. Okay, so we make the UL for the unordered list. New list item. Hmm, we can say something. Don't know, I'm just clicking some keys. Uh, we can say something again. We can say like pop. We can say something else like, oh, banana. That's a good one to always come back to, the banana. And our final list item can be cake. Oh, cake. There we go. So we view our preview. We have some random thoughts, a random line of uh, text, and then we have four unordered list items. As you can see, these are now bulleted and not ordered, as in one, two, or three, four. They are bulleted. So let's go back to the editor and submit our code. And we get it correct. Yes. All right. List inside a list. Oh, no. Shit. This is going to be confusing. So I'm just joking. It's not confusing at all. This is fairly simple. So you've made ordered list and unordered list top work. What if you have unordered list or bleh. what if you have an ordered list, but each item in the ordered list also has an unordered list nested in it? Nested simply means inside the list. The editor has a small example of this. Hit run to see what the result looks like. Remember, you've been nesting tags already. When you nest tags, the last tag you open is the first one you close. Here's an example. In this case, we have an unordered list, and then we have a list item that is nested within the unordered list, and it is giving us the tacos. That is very random. We should have used that last exercise. But the instructions are on line 21 to create an unordered list. So right here in this little space to create an unordered list. So let's go ahead and do that. Put Throw in our UL tags. Now, your unordered list should have two items, favorite boys' names and favorite girls' names. So let's go ahead and just copy these. Control C. And make sure that we are ne uh, nested and throw that in there and now once again make a new list item and I'm gonna go and copy the favorite girl's name because I am lazy and don't feel like typing mainly because we get a lot of typos when Caleb uh, what the hell when Caleb tries to type we get typos okay this is really being weird why doesn't it let me click that it, is it me that's weird okay here we go now we can paste that in there and review our preview. We should have, well, that's what they had before. This is what we're having now. Favorite boy's name, favorite girl's name, and we're going to go back to our editor. Under each item of the unordered list, create an ordered list. Use the ordered list to specify your three favorite boy's names and three favorite girl's names. Use the example nested list above as examples of how to do this. So essentially what you guys are doing is, or what we are doing, is creating the same thing as they are up here. But instead they just switch the tags around. Instead of using the OL like um, they do, we are going to use the UL. So we're making an unordered list instead of an ordered list. But they are nesting an unordered list within an ordered list. And we are nesting an ordered list within a uh, unordered list. So Try not to let that confuse you. Let's just go to the first list item and create a new um, ordered list tag or OL tag within there. Go ahead and click enter. Let me scroll down here. And it wants us to specify um, three names. So favorite boys names. Well, pff, easily Caleb for the very first one. Uh, second list item, we could say something like Logan. That's a good guy's name. 
Uh, third list item, we can say something like Luke. Got the double L in there. Now let's scroll down. Let's go to our second list item. In our unordered list, make sure that we're no longer in our ordered list. We are now in our unordered list. And we're right here on favorite girl's name, so make sure they're there. Go ahead and click enter. Now what we want to do is make a new ordered list. New OL tag. Now to make a new list tag and favorite girls' names, we can say something like uh, Jordan. Uh, there we go. Uh, another list item could be um, Jesse, I guess. And finally, we can have something that says like uh, Peggy. Okay, so now if we view our preview, we now have an unordered list with one, two, three ordered lists or three list items that are within an order list. So we have favorite boys names, first one's Caleb, second one's Luke, uh, Logan, third one's Luke, and then we have favorite girls names, first one's Jordan, second Jesse, Peggy, so on. So you pretty much understand it and get it. So we just go ahead and save and submit, see if we get the green light. And sweet, congratulations, you finished the first project, yep, because we are awesome. So thank you guys for watching. If um. If you have any questions, make sure to um, leave the video a comment. Don't forget to like the video. Also, if you guys want to subscribe for future videos, you know, and you know, it doesn't hurt to hit the button up top to subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching another tutorial. Until next time, guys. I'm Caleb. Peace.